Dum dum dum. We or I am going to sign up for Road to Olympia Eight Week Transformation Challenge by Chris Bumstead. I've been off of social media. Well, I wasn't really into social media, but I did start following him before, what was it? I've been following him two years. From those two years, I stopped going on social media. And then when Olympia was coming, coming around the corner again last year, I went back on social media. That's where he won. And now I'm back on social media again. Was it like two weeks, three weeks ago? Something two like weeks that, ago. two weeks ago. And this popped up. I don't really scroll on Instagram. It's whatever pops up on the say first 20 then i won't go on um because if i stay on it i'll just stay on instagram because i got nothing else to do at home. i'm gonna sign up kind of crazy let's actually make an account first no do it do it you can do it no. one two three go oh too bad one two three go oh, why are you doing bad. that I don't know what I'm no, doing. No, the middle, the middle. One, two, three, go. I didn't even click it. What happened? You, you clicked it too. No. Gosh, I'm nervous. Now. I know, me too. <laughs> well, that was about it. So I thought I was done. I thought I was going to be able to go to sleep or even just lay down. But Rodolin works the next three days. So I got to fix my meal prep Tupperwares, at least the chicken. Um, rice is fine that I measure it out. Ah, damn, I gotta cook chick. I gotta cook rice. It's the first week. I used to do this a lot too. Once you get used to it, it becomes a routine. And normally, after the first two weeks, it gets easier for me. Some people, it it's shorter. Um, some people, it takes longer. But as long as you go at it, you can do it. This is only 4.3 ounces. Um, I'm gonna do the micro bowl chicken and then I am gonna do some fish. Oh yeah, earlier I did have a uh, tahini and watermelon because I was like, man, I can't go to my parents' house right now. I don't think I'll be able to go over there for a while. Hey, yo, good morning. Um, I just dropped the kids off to my parents. Well, I was only gonna drop me off, but they wanted Avery as well, um, which gives me more time to clean, cook, uh, catch up with chores, <laughs> fill out the questionnaire section, maybe, uh, or just look through it, um, read it, think about it, and answer them tonight. Um, Mia's gonna be sleeping at my parents' house because every time my dad's here, he always wants to spend a night with her. I'm gonna pick up um, Avery Totoy later. Right now I'm gonna cook. Um, just got back. It's 10 18, September 10th. I did pre chop some onions and tomatoes. Um, the easiest thing for me anyways three servings of egg whites tomatoes and onions i don't really measure it out but i'll get back to you i'm gonna eat real quick defrosting uh tilapia right now and then i'm gonna do some laundry clean up the house a little bit throw away some uh some of the trash get things done that i don't get to do when the kids are here find my inner peace because i don't think it's just the diet it's the food that kind of like gets me moody but I get triggered really fast I can hide it from other people but when it comes to a family it shows a lot which kind of sucks I'm trying to control that as well I've always just been that way I don't know why I just get triggered I get frustrated easily after the diet peak um, and I start getting into a groove I start feeling a lot better just right now um, I'm always feeling hungry which these past two years um, like I said, I think on my previous videos, I never really had an appetite anymore, but I really loved food and that never came, like, these past two years, it kind of messed me up. Even though it's just my fourth day, um, I'm getting my appetite even more. I feel like I can eat a lot more. I'm always hungry. Um, I'm always wanting to work out now, but 
I do have two kids now. I have to realize that. I have to realize everything that I can put myself first at times, but when it comes to feeding my kids, um, taking care of them, they always come first. That's why I always push myself back when I do eat. Um, and it kind of sucks because when I am on a diet, I can't, I do the bro split. I do every two to three hours just because I love eating and it brought my appetite back. People that actually do know me, I, I always ate a lot. Um, I eat anything and everything. I'm not picky. I like trying new foods, but this, when I'm on a diet, um, I like doing the bro splits just because it works for me. It, it just works all around. It puts me, it disciplines me and it, it puts me on a safe, on a safe ground, on a safe place where for me, I can actually control it. I eat something, it's the majority of the time I just can't really stop. But if I'm on a bro split, pretty much a bro diet, and I have a cheat meal or a cheat day, just depending how I feel and I already know my own body, um, then I'll do that and I'll get back into my groove again. Uh, I forgot to show you the eggs. I had ketchup, Tabasco. It's like a Filipino breakfast, but I did have to make, I do make it healthier. I just spray oil instead of putting a lot of oil. Normally eating it with the rice. My body probably changed from when I first started because I used to not. No, actually I did eat a lot of carbs before too, but I'm um, controlling my carb intake right now just because I'm getting started and then see where I feel because my body did kind of change, especially how my body takes in food. And I'm barely realizing when I eat brown rice, I guess I'm having too much fiber. Okay, um, I just answered the questionnaire. I wasn't going to till tonight, but I got caught up in it because when I was reading it, um, it just fired me up a little bit. And it kind of threw me back a little because um, I didn't end up watching, washing dishes or even drinking water. So now I'm late on water. That's today, I'm just gonna drink a gallon. I'm only doing cardio today, so I'm not eating. Uh, yeah, it just depends how I feel. Um, feeling pretty good. I forgot to weigh myself in the morning again. Other than that, I answered questionnaires what he sent me I was just asking about my program split of course my basic information kind of foods I eat uh, what my meal plan is right now but basically since I did start of course my diet was all kinds of nasty before this and then my workout split my supplementation my cardio my profession which is I'm a stay-at-home dad if you want to watch this journey and keep up with me or keep update with me help me out that's about it i'm gonna go wash dishes right now i'm gonna do some laundry i did finish up some folding but i now do some more folding drink a lot of water and hopefully i'm done by two so i can go pick up my son so um did a lot of laundry um threw away a lot of garbage folded boxes and just put it in the garbage um Cut some, cut some uh, tomato and onions up there. Pretty much black bean called dalsi. Just tomato, onion, air fried the tilapia. Uh, just mix this with tomato and onion, black bean. Um, I use some of the water in here, but this is really salty. Earlier, <laughs> already, I forgot to record. Um, I was just like in a hurry because I only had an hour to cook, but I did cook tilapia. I put some in the container already. Um, I put some sesame oil and chili oil. Then I cooked the tau si sauce. I didn't mix it because um, when I measure it or when I, yeah, when I weigh it, um, I want to know the exact I put. Um, I did six ounces on each. I was supposed to do eight, but then I guess I didn't cook enough tilapia, so I did six on each of them. I was 180.7 on the 7th, looks like, oh yeah, night time, um, I was then 174.2 night time, and today I'm 172.6, 74, 72, 72. So I do fluctuate a lot, um, 
just depends on my diet when i do start like a diet um i drop weight quick but then right when i get to that 167 170 range um that's it it's hard it's not hard uh it's the mentality it's like oh i'm there which i'm not even there yet but um kind of sucks because my mind is like oh i'm good because to be honest i'm not competing for anything um i don't need a six pack but oh and yeah all in all i really don't need a physique at the moment but that's what i used to live for um technically not the physique is the way i felt and um how i lived it but i'm not gonna record my um my workout today um, there's really no need. I'm running, so I'm not gonna bring this camera. Shredded Alpha HCI creatine cage muscle. Take two of these. Oh, I take this while I work out. I'm gonna re up actually. I'll take like three fourths of a scoop. Oh man. Today's Thursday 20 minute cardio abs and shoulders. My shoulders, I'm just gonna do a compound movement like. Pretty much just uh, either dumbbell shoulder press or barbell shoulder press. I think I'm going to end up doing barbell standing. Strict barbell shoulder press. Um, just because I nail work on the strict movement on my shoulder. Um, I'm going to do it by how I feel. I don't know the sets and reps. But I'm not going overboard because tomorrow I am deadlifting. 